Welcome back. This week marked four years since the brutal death of Jose Arredondo, found dead in his condo in Cabo San Lucas. Though one man was arrested and charged with Arredondo's murder, he was set free after a judge threw out all evidence against him. The murder case of the Bakersfield businessman remains a mystery, as it's still unknown who is responsible for his death. But who was Jose Arredondo? His story was a classic rags to riches story coming from a humble background. Arriving in this country as an age 11 year old boy from Mexico, he washed cars from a dealership in Los Angeles and then opened his own first dealership, Family Motors in Bakersfield in 1993 and quickly found success in the business world. He acquired other businesses including a theater, restaurants, real estate and a golf course among other business ventures. And he never forgot his humble roots. He donated generous to college scholarships for needy students. And our own Jose Gaspar from our sister station, Telemundo Via Central, has been following this case from day one and has more on where this case stands. It's not a good feeling. Um, and believe it or not, you know what, I'm very positive and I've always tried to see the best in life and but for some reason, that day, it's so hard for me. Laura Arredondo is the sister of Jose Arredondo. And the day she's referring to is July 15th, when her brother was savagely killed in 2019 in his condo in Cabo San Lucas. His body was found the next day. Less than two weeks after the high-profile murder, Mexican police announced they had evidence to prove that Roberto Gonzalez, a longtime friend and golfing buddy of Arredondo, was involved in his murder. Gonzalez spent 14 months in jail. But the state's case became unraveled when a judge ruled police obtained evidence through illegal and improper means. Gonzalez walked out of jail a free man in 2020, and ever since, Arredondo's siblings have not been told anything about the case. What's, what's been hidden? What's been covered? Why is that information being blocked? That would be my first question. Why is it being blocked? So that makes me very leery and very angry. Jose Arredondo was a U.S. citizen. We asked the FBI and the State Department if it was investigating his murder. FBI spokesperson Gina Swanky said the FBI could not comment on the case at this time. The State Department replied in an email, We can't confirm the death of a U.S. citizen in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. We offer our sincerest condolences to the family on their loss. We have provided all appropriate consular assistance to the family. For information related to the investigation, we refer you to the local Mexican authorities. Out of respect for the privacy of the family, we have no further comment at this time. We did contact the State Attorney General's Office of Baja California, but we're told it does not comment on investigations. Though the case happened in Mexico, Angela Redondo believes authorities need to look elsewhere to solve his uncle's murder. I think we're looking in the wrong place. I think Mexico's not the answer. I think the answer is here. I think the answer is here. Jaime Thatcher, the lawyer for Roberto Gonzalez, says the motive in this case boils down to one thing. Here's what he told us in an interview in 2020. Follow the money. You need to follow the money in order to know what's going on here. Second, we have obviously to follow the beneficiaries of that money. Uh, we're talking here about interesting amounts of money in U.S. dollars or Mexican pesos, whatever you want to call them. Four years and still no answers only makes their hurt worse, says the family. But they say they're determined to find out who would kill and torture a brother, a husband, an uncle, and why. Sooner or later, the faith that we have, it's the one that helps us go on. And I know that sooner or later, um, it's going to come out. It's going to come out. And I hope it's more soon than later. 